Okay, one other aspect that um, I'm kind of hesitant to do out um, on the fields. Y'all have seen the fields and some of the other videos are horrible, um, which makes this part really, really painful. Um, that's diving. Um, there are a lot of particulars when you dive. Um, um, a lot of things that you have to do right in order to not hurt yourself. Um, because there are a lot of that there are a lot of things that can go wrong and it only takes one thing to go wrong to sustain a bad injury um, the first thing um, like the the num the top rules for diving are number one when you dive always dive with your arms out if you dive with your arms tucked in and you land on and you land with an arm tucked in like this you land on this here you're send you're basically sending your elbow straight into your rib cage um, I've been practicing with my old team um, I didn't sign up this year I've been practicing with my old team um, I dove once and I didn't have my arms out I had my arm tucked in like this I had a bruise about that big and for those who have weaker bones than I do, um, which is surprising, look how skinny I am. That's my arm. You know, I'm skin and bone. Um, you're gonna crack a rib, and you're gonna, or you're gonna break a rib. You're gonna do something. You know, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt more than it already is. And that's, and um, that's the number two main thing you have to face. It's gonna be painful. It's gonna be really, really painful. And there's nothing. You, there's no way you can get escape that fact. Um, that's why a lot of goalkeepers out there, you know, especially kids growing up and that kind of thing, at least in my area, they don't like to die because it hurts. Well, that's what you signed up for, kid. Um, you know, you have to be not right in the head to do this. Um, you know, if you don't want to be standing around half the game to throw your body once or once or ten times, and um, not complain about it. If you don't want to do that, go either try another sport or try another position. Um, because, I mean, it hurts. Um, the main things you have to get straight are um, the several steps that you have to do. Um, because there are several ty types of dives. There's... Um, you know the dive that we've all seen in the um, great save videos, where people launch each, um, launch themselves across, all the way across the goal to just barely get a fingertip on the ball and um, send it wide. And there's also another type of um, dive called a collapse dive, and that's basically when you literally just fall to one side or the other, but like let your feet give out from under you and letting gravity do the rest of the work. Um, let gravity do the rest of the work and land on your shoulder always land on your shoulder do not land on your hip if you land on your hip you're going to break it off um, I'm pretty sure I made that mistake once I'm pretty sure I broke off my hip um, it bruised, it swelled um, so I mean I might have and you know just, just don't do it, take my word for it um and you can do that on either side, on shots that are almost kind of almost straight at you, but um, a little bit more to the side. Um, things that are a little bit more out of your reach that you can't just run to or whatever, uh, shots that are really hard. What you have to do is you stand at a wide base, you know, your feet shoulder width apart. What you do is, let's say the ball is going that way. That way. And I'm standing here. I'm going to want to take the foot that's on this side and push going that way. Sending my entire body mass moving this way. Moving that way. Um, and that's that starts the motion. And then once you get... Um, if this is my right foot and my body's completely in line with that, that's when you want to push off with your right foot in like a diagonal direction, upward, upward, and to the right, to my right, to your left. Um, push up in that way, 
and like I said, dive with your arms out. Try to get to the ball. And um, again, when you when you're flying through the air, you want to kind of let's see if I can get this angle right. It's a weird angle for the camera. Go from sending that way to kind of landing like this. You want to kind of land like this so you can land on your shoulder. If you dive like completely straight out, you know you're gonna land on your hip first and you're gonna break it off. You kind of slant down a little bit so you kind of crash you kind of crash into your um, shoulder and stop. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that. It's just um, kind of tough to explain. If someone else can explain it better, either leave a long comment or leave a video response on how to do this. Um, because this has been uh, one of the weakest points for me is... Um, the technique involved with diving, because, um, like I said, I've I've made pretty much every mistake, and I've never really gotten it set straight for me. Um, so this is going to be uh, one of those times where y'all have to take over and really show, you know, the proper technique for this, because um, these are about the only things that I've kind of picked up on. Um, so please set me straight. Um, and those are the general guidelines. Um, don't land on your head. You know, don't dive like that. Don't land on your head. That'll hurt. Um, um, don't do like a half dive where you kind of like just lunge and land on your feet because that's not really effective. I mean, if you get to the ball, it's fine, I guess. But um, you want to shy away from it. Um, and that's really the, um, what I know from diving. If you have a better idea of it, please make a video response. Please, please, please. All right, see you all later.